three rounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by Ink Junkies. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Chris the Crippler Levon. And now, introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing navy blue trunks. He is training out of the Den Training Center in Yorba Linda by Big Bad Berea. He weighed in 145 pounds. His record, one win, no losses with that win. Coming by way of stoppage, ladies and gentlemen, he is the rising star of the year, Kyle. His opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing gray and black trunks to rim in gold. He is training out of UFC gym in Torrance by way of Sun Valley. He weighed in 143 pounds. His record, one win, no losses, with his win coming by way of stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jono YKM Serrano. All right, fans, here we go. The rerounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division. All right, we've got three minute rounds on this one. Three three minute rounds, no shin guards. And you're just looking to run across yeah. the ring. <laughs> just get right to it. There's at least visually Ooh. appears to be a, a bit larger. Good takedown though from Serrano. That was both a wrestling takedown and a somersault at the exact same time. <laughs> Looked like sometimes you can run the risk of EDTing yourself. Yes, that, um, that was my initial concern. Yeah, if that head, uh, we, I mean, I've seen people get knocked out from their own takedown. Their head lands on the mat hard. Uh, absolutely can be devastating, but hopefully it doesn't appear to be like Serrano took that much damage or any damage from it. Well, Ends up on top. I'm just trying to get his head free. And the visual that you just saw in the picture in picture was the, the crowd getting very hyped uh, with chance of Ole Ole. And uh, I mean, they're excited for this fight and they have good reason to. They got a very good pop in the very first few seconds. Nice overhook on that left arm uh, with his left arm. Pearson looking to force this triangle and he gets the leg over. And this is a terrible position for Serrano to be in. Locking up the triangle, gonna try to bring this arm across the, the body here. Wants to control that arm, maybe hook the leg. Might see him transition to an arm lock, but this triangle is pretty locked up. And there's a minute 35 to work from this position, John. That's just nothing but and pressure. He gets, and he gets the, the submission. Attack. Beautiful stuff from Kyle Pierce. I would like to point out that I did say we would see an intense version. Oh, nope, he's already into the crowd. Uh, he is with his people. Uh, the hooligans who were chanting ole ole are very excited. Uh, somebody should inform him that he does need to get his hand raised. Uh, order of operations say get hand raised, then into crowd. But he's feeling it and his family's feeling it and his friends are feeling it. And my favorite is the dude who's jumping but trying to also text someone at the same time. All right, we're, we're corralling him back. And you know, that's honestly the weirdest way I think I've seen anybody ever go over a barricade. Like, it's the top part of the cage. And uh, people working security here did not like. No. <laughs> did not like him jumping out in the crowd. No, no. Let's, let's not make that a habit, you know? Yes, and here's a replay. This is just such a tight triangle, and he does a great job controlling the head, controlling the posture. Stopping the damage from that left arm throwing punches. Uh, he just did all the right things and uh, Had a very cinched up deep triangle Obviously a good angle and good technique on that gets the submission And Serrano was uh, I mean he's very game in this so he was not going to tap just to uh, Anything unless it was a very tight submission. It's, it's also just the nightmare scenario with somebody with long limbs That you just don't want to give them the opportunity to get that triangle because they can find it 
very well. Let us hear more about this. Ladies and gentlemen, fight at one right minute, now. 31 seconds of round number one. Referee in charge, Chris the Crippler Levin, stops the contest due to a tap out from a triangle choke. Our winner in the blue corner, he is the rising star of the year, Kyle Pierce. Hey, run the fucking numbers. I'm the shit here now. KOs, submissions, I do it all. And everybody, thank you for the support. Thank you for voting for me, your rising star of the year. I appreciate it, thank you so much. I, all the, all, I thank you, Spar Star, for all the nice things you say about me. I already think all that about myself, it's just nice to hear other people say it too. Well, I don't know what's next for me. I wanna fight. And I don't consider it a fight until I've been hit. So these have not been fights. These have been exhibitions. Sparkstar, you're welcome. Give it up for our rising star.